Hello friends, welcome to the Dog Mall. In this video, we will compare some characteristics of wolf killers. Tibetan Mastiff versus Caucasian Shepherd. Let's jump on it. Muscularity. The Tibetan Mastiff is a powerful muscular breed that is agile and nimble while keeping a dignified attitude. They have powerful necks, deep chests, straight backs, and well-feathered tails that often extend over the back. Overall, the Tibetan Mastiff appears strong and substantial. On the other side, Caucasian Shepherd is well built with plenty of muscle and bone mass. His big and muscular physique is furnished with stronger muscles and bones. They are large muscular molasses with a lot of muscle, heavy coats and a big boned muscular body. Energy level. Tibetan Mastiff has a medium level of energy. They usually don't want to expend the energy required to move their huge bodies more than a few inches. Their energy is typically dedicated into work, which they often regard as protecting the home. On the other hand, Caucasian shepherds are low energetic and may appear to move little indoors, with bursts of enthusiasm once outside. They have a similar level of energy, but they are more prone to take action. This is due to their breeding as livestock guard dogs. Temperament. Tibetan Mastiffs have many of these traits, yet they are more sensitive to humans. Despite their independence, they are more prone to be affected by praise or scolding. They are highly intelligent, independent, and stubborn, yet sensitive to human moods. On the other hand, Caucasian Shepherds share certain features with other breeds typically found working in rural areas. They are powerful, dominant, and vigilant, yet they are also peaceful and sensitive to others around them. They are recognized for their protectiveness and loyalty to their families. Easy to train. Tibetan Mastiffs are very intelligent and can acquire basic obedience skills rapidly. Training should begin at a young age and rules should be strictly enforced during the dog's life. Even with intensive socialization training, the Tibetan Mastiff may be difficult. On the other hand, Caucasian Shepherds may be obstinate and independent, making them tough to train. Their protectiveness can lead to hostility with strangers. This breed requires proper training. This dog is extremely independent and bright, making obedience training difficult but not impossible. Health Conditions The Tibetan Mastiff is a relatively healthy breed and reputable breeders will examine their stock for health issues including elbow and hip dysplasia, hypothyroidism, and ocular anomalies like entropion and ectropion. Other disorders with the eyes and thyroid arise. On the other hand, Caucasian Shepherds are a healthy breed with no unique concerns other than those that plague most huge breed dogs. They are susceptible to elbow and hip dysplasia. They are prone to heart issues and entropion a condition in which the dog's eyelashes curl in and create eye irritation. Grooming needs. Tibetan Mastiffs are easy to groom. Brushing often and taking a bath or two may help during the heavy shed, but expect hair everywhere. The coat sheds little rest of the year and requires weekly brushing and washing when the dog becomes soiled. In addition, your dog needs dental brushing and nail clipping regularly. On the other hand, the Caucasian Shepherd's coat can range from quite long to very short. To reduce overgrowth, splitting, and cracking, their strong, fast-growing nails should be clipped regularly using a nail clipper. Their ears should be examined regularly to avoid wax and debris buildup, which can lead to infection. Teeth should be brushed regularly. So, who is the winner? Let us know by commenting below. Thanks for watching this video. You are invited to watch more videos and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Thank you.